everyone and welcome to video number 29 of UPSC Civil Service Mains 2021 question paper solution and today we are going to see one theory question and this is on demand video from one of our viewer Mr. Suresh so <clears throat> today's question is what is carbon equivalent and how does the carbon equivalent of a steel affect the hard hardening heat treatment so <clears throat> this is 10 marks theory question so what let me tell you uh, the equivalent carbon concept uh, it is used for generally steels or cast irons to determine the various properties of alloy where more than just carbon is used as alloyant like and this idea of carbon equivalent is to convert the percentage of alloying element other than the carbon to equivalent the carbon percentage that means what it's written over here let me uh, explain you in very neat and clean manner that uh, suppose uh, you have an alloy steel in alloy steel we have different different various alloying element to increase the strength of the uh, steel that is manganese silicon chromium molybdenum vanadium vanadium copper nickel all these are alloying elements these are alloying element added into the steel which increase the strength of the steel okay now whatever the increase in the steel prop increase in the strength of the steel due to this uh, al different different alloying element so the same increase in the strength is achieved by how much percentage of equivalent carbon understand so the alloying element which are combinedly combinedly manganese silicon chromium whatever all these elements which they combinedly collectively increase the st strength whatever amount of increase the strength the same amount of increase in strength in steel how we can achieve by using only carbon as a alloying element so why we are doing this kind of things because ion carbon diagrams it is not ion carbon but it is ion ion carbide diagram FeFe3C diagram is easy to understand and easy to evaluate for the calculation purpose other than the uh, iron and alloying element diagram so that's why we are doing this kind of things and this is the equation of carbon equivalent uh, it's not necessary to remember this but if you can remember then it's well and good for you next thing is uh, what are the effects so this is about carbon equivalent now what are the effects so let first one second okay so this is the equation of carbon equivalent so what are the effects so it is a carbon equivalent is an indicator of expressing the critical cooling time required for the steel material to change into 100% martensite that is in TTT diagram you have uh, one you heard one word that is a critical cooling curve critical cooling curve or critical cooling time okay and uh, if the cooling time for a steel is shorter than the critical cooling curve then the structure turns into the 100% martensite otherwise the structure may contain other phases like maybe a bionite or a perlite whatever so this means that the steel having longer critical cooling time undergoes the martensite transformation easily okay so here we can say that okay uh, here one longer critical cooling times so here there is one mistake that is shorter there is shorter okay because if the cooling rate is shorter than the critical cooling then then and only it turns in martin side so the equivalent carbon we have found out and what is the critical cooling time that if we cool down below that critical cooling time like if we uh, cool very quickly the, there is a in TT diagram you have studied the critical time critical cooling rate okay if we keep the rate much faster than critical cooling rate then there is a martensite formation and if we increase the cooling period then other phases like bionite and perlite perlite will uh, transform so this is this is carbon equivalent is used to express and that was uh, from austenite the ttt diagram that we have studied that is for austenite okay a plain iron carbon okay that is simply our only iron and carbon plain carbon steel that is our test of ttt diagram that we have studied in btech that is of plain carbon steel but here whatever carbon equivalent we got that is from the uh, effect of combined effect of this uh, alloying elements so the carbon percentage is uh, different than plain carbon steel so that's why it is uh, used for because if the alloying element 
in one steel is other than the second steel so your carbon equivalent will got will get changed and similarly for what happened if the carbon equivalent change your critical cooling rate will change and similarly for that you have to find out the what at what critical cooling rate if we do the cooling below the critical cooling then uh, our structure will be martensite otherwise uh, perlite or bainite okay so ultimately we can say that the carbon equivalent is used to determine the metallurgical changes of the steel based on the cooling rate so this is the one line the what what we can say that conclusion okay and it is equivalent it is used to show the equivalent effect of carbon the equivalent effect of various uh, alloying element in terms of carbon so i hope you understand this point so i hope you like this video all the viewers so tomorrow we will meet with some new questions or new videos maybe okay so stay tuned with us and subscribe this channel for more this kind of videos of solutions of mains question thank you for watching